It's fall semester on the Yukon campus. And before long, 16 new students will embark to become Yukon's first sole survivor. The biggest thing I have going for me right now is I don't care about anybody. I don't even care about myself. So I will present myself in any way that will just get me ahead. But yeah, my strategy is just be like the ghost in the system, I guess, if you want to call it that. Like, I, I want to control the game, but from outside the grid, so I don't want to be completely under the radar, but I don't want to be the one, like, expressly winning challenges and seeking everyone out and be like, yeah, let's vote this person, let's vote this person, let's vote this person. I want to be the guy that tells the guy to do that, and then the, them to actually listen to me and not turn on. So, we'll see how that goes. So I know I can easily win every single challenge. I'm a golden god, okay? So I'm going to be high and mighty out here. And I, I don't want to be too social, too active. I just want to, you know, prove my dominance in the, uh, in the challenges. And I think that way I won't need to socialize. I won't need to get around because I'm just always going to be winning. So I wanted to do Survivor because um, it's very similar to the um, television show Big Brother and like, I'm a huge fan of that. Um, I'm not like crazy about it like some of the people in Survivor Yukon are about Survivor, but I like, I know a lot, like I know you have to like get rid of the morals and stuff, like, they're very, like, I don't know. I think that's going to be the hardest part for me. But I'm like very open with a lot of people and I don't like to like lie, so that's gonna be hard. 16 students from all different backgrounds will compete in Yukon's first survivor competition. In the end, only one can claim the title of Yukon's first sole survivor. 77 days, 16 people, one survivor. All right, welcome everyone. Welcome to Survivor Yukon. Welcome our first day. So we have a great group of people here. We got 16 guys, six, well, 16 people. We got eight guys, eight girls. We're gonna be dividing to two teams shortly, two tribes. We're gonna have four guys and four girls on each tribe. So we're gonna be doing that momentarily. Uh, first, I just wanna go around. We're gonna do the classic icebreaker, classic, uh, I hate my life, I hate this teacher for making me do an icebreaker, but we're gonna do that here. So, everyone, we're just gonna go in a line. If you wanna just say your name, your major, and maybe like some sort of fun fact about you, we'll do that, all right? All right, starting <laughs> over here. All right, yeah. 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 All right. Here? so my name is Catherine. I'm a junior, I'm a psychology major, and I am a musician. Beautiful, all right. Hi, I'm Isabella, I'm a freshman, undecided major, and I'm on a rowing team. I'm Megan, I'm a sophomore materials science and engineering major, and I don't know how to ride a bike. 
I'm a girl, I'm undecided, and I sing. My name is Erica, I'm a sophomore exercise science major, and I was a camp counselor this summer. Uh, I'm Mackenzie, I am a sophomore, I'm a nutritional sciences major, and I ran a half marathon two weeks ago. Ooh. Actually, I did know Mackenzie to begin with. We had a class together freshman year, so I already knew her coming in, and I didn't even know if she was doing this club, so I was like, perfect, that's relationship one, number one, I already have a good base and we can um, together see what comes out of that. Hi. Uh, I'm Zoe, I'm a sophomore, I'm a human development family studies major, and I'm from New York. I didn't really have a strategy going in. I uh, just kind of, you know, see where it takes me, see how I feel with the tribe. Um, you know, I do kind of get off a strong personality sometimes, so I'm kind of just like, I kind of put myself at the front of everything, you know, I'm like, okay, this is what we should do. I take on the leadership role pretty early on, I feel, and sometimes that does hurt me. Um, but yeah, going in, I just have an open mind, just like get a feel for the tribe first and see where I go from there. I'm Katie, I'm majoring in bio, and I have a pet teacher. I'm Lindsay, I'm a freshman chemical engineering major, and I tap dance. My name is Mark, I'm a uh, computer science and engineering major, and uh, today for Pokemon Go, my favorite Pokemon is out, so I'm pretty pumped for Chikorita. <laughs> uh, the reason I think I can win Survivor is that um, I'm really good at uh, reading people and uh, kind of getting a feel, like I can really tell like when someone's trying to lie to me, it's pretty easy to tell, like reading people that way. I think that's going to be really big, trying to figure out who's talking to who what alliances I'm gonna make, who I can trust, who I can't. I think that's gonna be really important. And then also just like, I was an athlete in high school, I think that's just gonna help me with the challenges, being able to do some things that others can't and uh, win immunity, be able to stay in the game. I'm Alex, I'm a sophomore, English and Spanish major, and I do know how to ride a bike. Uh, uh, my name is... My name is Zubin, I'm a junior, I am in material science and engineering, and I spent five years in the Navy. Okay, my name is Zubin, I am 32 years old, I'm a materials engineering major, I think I'm somewhere sophomore, junior, uh, there's a bit of a credit for couple because I have a lot of transfers. I was spent uh, five years in the Navy, uh, and right now I'm just you know, doing everything I can to get myself, you know, through co college right now because, you know, you know we're, all here, we're all here to learn and such. I'm Eric, I'm a sophomore, I'm a um, civil engineering major, and I like to ski. Alright. Hi, my name's Raphael, call me Raph, because I never respond to Raphael. Um, I'm a senior, and my major, major is communications and, like, me, um, films. So, Honestly, when I heard there's like Survivor here, I just joined it because I, I love Survivor, that's first. Um, me and my dad bond over like watching Survivor ever since I was like a kid, so I'm a big fan as well. Um, and I just want to meet people here because I'm an exchange, so Survivor was probably one of those clubs. I'm like, oh, you know what, I've got to constantly talk to these people, so I was like, yeah, it's a great opportunity for that. And Literally, I don't really have a strategy because I just want to meet people. I liked Raph because I've met him before. Um, we met at a party like weeks ago, and I don't think he remembers me that well. But he was like, okay, like I remember kind of. I'm CJ, I'm a freshman, um, I'm a pre teaching major, and uh, I played piano for over 10 years. Ooh. I'm Doug, I'm a freshman biomedical engineer. Uh, and I am an avid Mountain Dew drinker. Right. My name is Douglas Olmsted. I'm a biomedical engineering student here at the University of Connecticut Storrs. Um, I enjoy long walks on the beach and dancing in the rain, singing in the rain sometimes, depending on the audience. Um, I am an avid Mountain Dew drinker. Um, it is my firm belief that you should have access to at least 72 ounces of it at any given time. And I actually calculated it in my dorm right now I have about 250 ounces because I have four of those 12 pack with the cans and I also have two two liters um, that I got at the CVS before I went home and got the cans so I'd say I'm sitting a little pretty right now I'm comfortable um, which you know 
can't ever be bad. Our two team names, we have Purple Tribe. They're Great called name. Sapala. So our season name right now, our season name, because currently 2018 is the year of the dog. So we're going to be called the year of the Husky because we are the Yukon Huskies. All right. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. No. 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 All right, so our Purple Tribe's name is Sapala. It's named after Leonard Sapala. He led the lar longest and most dangerous part of the 1925 serum run from Nome, the famous like run that inspired the Iditarod in Alaska. And then our yellow tribe is called Kassin. And Kassin was the person that started the run. He's the guy that had the dog uh, Balto. Balto, like the famous dog in media. So yes, those are our two tribes. So when I call your name, if you want to come up and grab a bandana, and then you can throw that on your body wherever you want. <laughs> it's up to you. Um, I've seen some interesting things. You can do a headband. You can tie on your wrist. If you can manage a bow tie, you can rock that bow tie. I don't really care. All right. So first, for Sapala, we're gonna have Mark. Can I get purple over here when you guys get your stuff, and then yellow on that? Yeah, side. let's have purple over here, yellow over here. Mark. All right. So next for Cassin, we have CJ. CJ. Which side am I getting to? Yeah, right over there. That'll be good. <laughs> Uh, next for Sapala, we have Mackenzie. Mackenzie, there you are. Uh, next for Cassin, we have Isabella. Next for Sapala, we have Alex. I never said this. Alex. Here you are. Next for Cassin, we have Raf. Raf? Raf. Raf. Yes. All right. Here you are. All right. Next for Sapala, we have Katie. Let's get it. That was my phone. Is it? Really? Katie, here you are. Uh, next for Cassin, we have Catherine. Here you are. When we found out who the tribes were, I was a little disappointed that Catherine wasn't in my tribe just because I felt like she had like this really big personality, but like I felt like I'd be able to befriend her pretty easily just like based off of what I could tell her interests were, like we both like Pokemon, stuff like that. Um, and I could tell that she really knew a lot about the game, which I don't know, to be honest, I don't know a ton about what I'm gonna do for strategy and stuff, so I really wanted to partner with Catherine. So I was a little disappointed when I found out that she was on the other tribe. Uh, next for Sapala, we have Doug. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Doug. What, nothing? Woo! Come on! Let's yeah, come on, hype them up! Hey, yeah. you! <laughs> uh, next for Cassin, we have Zubin. Come on! I'm wearing purple! Uh, I'm sorry, you didn't, you didn't coordinate with me, man. Being on Cassin, the first place I was slightly surprised because, you know, I'm wearing purple, and I was, you know, I was hoping for a second, you know, come on, purple, come on, purple, come on, purple, and then Cassin, Zubin, so it's like, come on, you gave me the you gave me the complimentary color of the color I'm wearing when the color I'm wearing is a, is an eligible color. Alright, next for Sapala we have which order am I going in? We have Zoe. Zoe. Woo! Here we are. You Woo! 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 Uh, next for Cassin, we have Lindsay. Oh, hell yeah. Hey. Uh, for Sapala, we have Earl. Here you 
va. Um, yeah, I got a pretty good vibe from Earl at first. He was really friendly. He was just going around, like, introducing himself. I really liked that in a person. I just wanted to be, you know, out there. And I really liked him. I was happy he was on my tribe, um, because I got really good vibes from him from the beginning. Uh, for Cassin, we have Eric. Hey. Hit me up with that. Oh. There you go. <laughs> This was no particular order. I'm so sorry if you last. Uh, for Apollo, we have Erica. Well, here you are. Thank you. Here we go, ladies. And, and last but not least, for Cassin, we have Megan. Yes. yes. Here you are. Thank you. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 All the way down. <laughs> that was all right, let's go. We got our purple tribe. We got the Sapala tribe, and we got our yellow tribe. We have Cassin. All right. So for today's challenge, today's challenge is going to be an obstacle course. It's going to be four parts. But before I explain that, we're going to go into our big twist of the season, or at least of the pre-merge. So what we're going to do is I have. I have everyone's name written down on a piece of paper. I have uh, the Sapala tribe and then I have the Cassin tribe. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw all the names into a bag. Everyone from the Sapala tribe is going to reach into the bag. You're going to get a random person. If you get your own name, then we're going to switch it up again because obviously you can't get your own name. But that person's going to be your target. So the way that's going to work is if this person gets voted out at tribal council during your tribal council, so it doesn't matter whether you vote for them or, it doesn't matter. If they get voted out and they're your target, you're gonna get a clue to the hidden immunity idol. So the hidden immunity idol is gonna be buried somewhere, on, well, not buried. It, it could be, it's somewhere on campus, it might be buried. So the hidden immunity idol is obviously something you can play at tribal council after the votes are cast, you can play on yourself or someone else and that might save you from being voted out. So, clue the hidden immunity idol, if your target gets voted out, you can choose to work with your target, you can choose to target them immediately, you can choose to completely ignore the target twist. It's just an added thing to the game, and it can get you immunity idol clues, all right? So, all right, one at a time, I'm gonna call someone from Sapala up. You're just gonna reach in the bag. I'm gonna show you which one you have, and then you can go back. Obviously the target twist, it's something you can tell people on your tribe, you can tell people on the other tribe. This is a cross-tribal game, this isn't like the real show, you can talk to anyone in the game. And um, yeah, you'll be able to see who you have, and if you have any questions, you can let me know after, obviously. I'm not going to be going after whoever my target is, because if I did that, it would just make me more of a target because I'd just be switching volatility to different people each week and then I wouldn't have a strong alliance with anyone. I think it's better to just, if it works out that it's my target, I'll go for that person. Or if one of my allies is their target, then I can like work with them to get that person out. First challenge, Husky Hustle, is an obstacle course consisting of four sections. Two players from each tribe will have to complete each section, every player from the tribe completing at least one section of the challenge in order to win immunity. In the first section, one at a time, two tribe members must balance two cubes on a popsicle stick they hold in their mouth, walking from a starting point on the course to an ending point with one checkpoint in between. In section two, Two tribe members must bounce a rubber ball on a plank of wood and move from one side of a stone bench to another. This must be completed twice. 
In the third section, two tribe members must flip three cups each in order to move on. To finish, two tribe members must use 100 wooden blocks to build a tower. Whichever tribe's tower reaches the designated height and holds for three seconds without falling will win immunity. This is your immunity, Husky. Yeah! yeah. 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 The tribe that wins is going to get immunity. Woo! week try that loses you're gonna have to vote out one of your members at tribal council you do want the susky i bought it today it's very soft yes you do want this you want to flip yeah i can do okay you can do flip so what's left? Like, I can balance. try doing the balance. Yeah. I can do flares, but I feel like it'd be easier if me and Katie did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Y
I'll be over there. You're almost there. You got it, got it. Don't have to keep it centered. You just have to keep it on the board. Yeah, yeah, I know. Thank you. 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 Very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. Okay. DJ. Careful, don't don't rush it. Don't rush it. Yeah. Just put your foot down. Thank you. First one. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah. I don't know if that's going to make that's it. That's going to take too many. Too many. I don't think so. We can do one at one. Uh, yeah, one and one's yeah, yeah. gonna be way too. It's that's way too so. stable. Actually, yeah, go for it. That, 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 that's it. That's it. Markers while I was, <laughs> I was trying to do four and a half feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was down just a nice verbal uh, noise over there. Yeah. 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 Suggestion. I don't know if it's gonna work out because it's like not good at mirroring. But if you uh, like put two flat ones and then try and stack them. Oh, oh. Try, try, try. oh. Ah. Gotcha. And gotcha. freaking gotcha. breeze. You guys want to try the pyramid style again? Which this one? Like this? I don't think that's it. Right. Yeah, right. God bless the wind tunnel. Let's do that. Wait, yeah, huddle that, that, into is the a, wind that is a that is a strategy. Huddle in. That is allowed. It does diminish. John's camera ability. No, no, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I'm good. I'm good. You just have strong base. Going on the outside. On the what? Build them towards the outside, like the bottom ones. Yeah. Yeah. Keep it wider. Yeah, keep it wider. Wide, wide, wide base. Wide base. Very good. Just keep it wide all the way up, and just keep it. Yeah. Yeah, we need a flat one time. somewhere, sometime. Mm. Are they already done? I don't think you need a flat one yet. Yeah, they've done one. Not yet? Not They've done one. 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 That looks good. Oh, did they finish one ball? Because yeah, once you get like halfway, you can put a couple of flat ones and down. start stacking ones. I'm gonna yeah. go work. Hey, it's okay if I go work on my tan from the spiles, right? <laughs> yeah, you can go bother them. It's on an edge. Yeah. 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 Oh yes. Very sure. That's good, buddy. You wanna go back to your group? You, you just go another step so then I'll You wanna go back to your treadmill? Like that. Okay, good. And he's fine. We're he's doing the show right now. Just now he's fine. We welcome other people. Your level, your level. Here we just give it a second. You're good to watch, how about that too? Oh yeah. <laughs> you look like, mm. You're a little sleepy though. Oh, no. That one needs to go a little bit this way. There you go. Alright, well it's not Jenga yet. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you Start moving them back that way a little bit more because it's coming My towards way? you. Yeah, a little bit. Not that much. Yeah. Just Just like subtly, bit, yeah. yeah. Because then you can start shaking it back that way. We have plenty of time, there's still, oh, still two back. Oh, the like demon finished it. You guys are running around. <laughs> I'm holding it to him. Oh, okay. Oh, my God, I didn't realize wow, it. Wow, dangerous. Oh, yeah, yeah trying to Just keep building. Keep going. 
in the middle oh, ball. That's risky, bro. That's, that's risky. Very... That's risky. Two of them and then one in the that's what I'm saying. Yeah. No, but like do two tall and then one flat across the top of it. Yeah. And then do two tall. Do one we just have to hit it. How long does it have to stay for a second? One more I'm three. Three. Of Let's try. This one and then we'll do flat. Yeah, we have a solid yeah. base right there. Okay. So okay. Okay. Messed up. It won't okay. Do okay, guys, let's that. just be really gentle. <laughs> Alright, we'll do one more level and then. Yeah, it's mine. It's just like kind of easier for someone to do three, four. No, it's going to be worse. I'm kind of nervous, then, but, then, but I trust these guys. It's important, huh? <laughs> Zubin, Zubin is very confident. He's very confident. We don't, even need, we don't need that many. Say, That's what I'm saying. If we do too tall, I have to go back at least three times. <laughs> yeah, we got this. No, keep them on one plank it's each. Terrible. Yeah, yeah, just like that. Yeah. Then one across the top of them. I know. That, that's but if you I do the to... bottom across the across the top, it work. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah they're working their way. They got a little over half a foot left. So it's this a bit more. We just need to do one layer above that one, guys. Yeah. I hate this. Try different Yeah, you can try the other side. Run faster. Yeah, all you guys, guys you just need one more. You literally just need one, one more block on top once you put that down. One more in the middle. Yeah. It's yours, because my, my one's not. His is unbalanced. No, no, straight up. Straight up. Oh. Passing almost <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Drops. Okay, okay. Just do exactly what you just did. Exactly. Do exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Zubin, <laughs> Zubin, <laughs> Zubin just Zubin is going crazy. Yes. <laughs> what is he doing? He's yelling at them. <laughs> Oh, wait, he's, he's playing my game. Okay. Okay. war! Zubin's playing my games over here. I like it. I like what I'm he's feeling doing it, yeah. Thing. Passing again, almost. Wait, there. pick a flat one out on the ground. Like, don't well, yeah. test it on yeah. here. Oh, oh, yeah. Alright guys, let's head back. Purple's still the best! Yeah. Alright, so, to Cassin, immunity! Alright, congrats to Cassin for now. No travel council for you this week. So Paula, one of you will be the first person to vote out as Survivor Yukon, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you guys Tuesday. That's all we got for today. All right. Thank you, everyone. Based on the challenge alone, I was thinking Alex just because, you know, he, you know, he said he could do this thing with the, with the stick and the cubes. He said he could do it. He said he was fine. And then, you know, we get to it. He drops it like a million times. Um, at that point, you know, I kind of lost faith in him for, you know, he's, he practiced right before we did it. He was fine. So I guess my first, you know, thoughts of him were that he doesn't do well under pressure. So, you know, okay, he doesn't do well under pressure. Maybe he doesn't belong here. Before tribes like were already um, like chosen for us, I guess is how you phrase it. Um, I actually knew CJ. Like <laughs> he's on a. I I know CJ because he's like he lives in, in towers as well, and we actually met in the laundry room. And we were like before we even knew about Survivor Yukon, we were trying to like create this. Um, big brother type of group thing for the school and so like I 
I know I'm going to work with him in the future. I think it was like a week before the first challenge happened. Um, me and CJ, we were playing pool in the game room and like Dub just came in and we didn't know who he was, but like we, we knew he looked familiar from the um, meeting that we had like a couple of days prior. And so like, he just like walked into the game room, then he walked out. He didn't say anything, which was weird. I love the weirdness. So like, <laughs> I like chased after him. I chased after him that night and I ran for like a good five minutes to catch up with him. <laughs> and then I invited him to play um, pool with us. And then that's how we like confirmed that he was um, in Survivor Yukon, yeah. Um, well, I knew Earl because he, he lived in the same residence hall as me. Um, and we met before the show started. Um, with Doug, um, like I said, we, we played pool with him. Um, one night we were playing pool and he came by and we were like, I think I saw you at the survivor meeting. He said, yeah, so that's where we met him. Uh, so the target twist. I was very disheartened to find that my target was Earl because A, I don't want to see Earl go home because I think that he would do very well in challenges and a little more importantly, a little bit, I would love to work with Earl closely as an alliance. Um, so what I did with that was I'm like, hey Earl, I got you as a target. Who's your target by the way, buddy? And he's like, hey, my target's Zoe. So from there, I was like, well, okay, that's perfect because Zoe kind of flopped on her part of the channel, so let's go for Zoe. Um, in general though, I think that I'll have a overall plan as to who I want to get out, but I don't think it's gonna, I don't think the target twist is gonna influence me very much, even though um, the targets switch every round. Um, I don't, I don't see that as playing a major factor in my game. Um, I see it as kind of more like an underlying factor, like, oh, well, I'm between this person or this person, and this person's my target, so I'll go with them. Like, it's the only scenario in which I would see the target playing it. I'm coming out of that, Mark asked me for an alliance, basically, and I felt confident. I felt like I had his trust and stuff, and that he'd be a good competitor and to align with moving on. Um, but, do you know anyone on the show? Um, so I know Eric pretty okay. well. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so I know Eric, and that's like literally it. Mm -hmm. He's the only person like I've really met before. And then we were thinking about making it like a three-person alliance with Alex, and we like mentioned it to Alex because Alex wants to talk to me too. Mm -hmm. Usually, what happens like the first initial like who they vote out first is the person that like messes up the first challenge or something. Yeah, yeah. So like Alex would easily I was gonna be say, the so first I, person. When I left like, when I left on Saturday, I was like, it's probably gonna be Alex. That's why. But then I was like, that doesn't really like do anyone any good. No. If it's yeah. just Alex, yeah. So I really hope that they're not. That's why I'm nervous that they're gonna target Alex. Yeah. Cause I feel like. Well, I mean, if they do, like if like worst case scenario, as long as like I can get Doug to be with us, then it's, you, me, Doug, and um, Erica. Yeah. So like, then we go to like a four on four. Yeah, that's like worst case scenario about like, on. Yeah, like worst case scenario, and then we just do the, the mm -hmm. revote. So I don't think that's gonna happen, just because I don't think the other four have all talked. So then Alex came to me and we talked, and we basically had the same discussion as Mark and I. So me and Mark and Alex formed an alliance called MMA. Couldn't think of a better name. <laughs> I talked to Mackenzie, and then she brought up making an alliance with Mark, and so now I have, like, and then she talked to Mark, and I talked to Mark a little bit yesterday at club, and, like, we're going to be working together pretty well. Um, yeah, I had a conversation with Earl on Sunday night, so the day after our challenge, and he basically just, like, spilled everything that he had. He told me who is person was he showed me like messages that he had with people and I didn't really have to work that hard but what I did is I told him that we were gonna have a final two together I told him a lot about my game to convince him that I was gonna be working well with him 
and moving forward we have an agreement that we'll share each other's idol clue if it's a person we'll just share the idol but if I find it I'm not necessarily going to tell him that I found it if I didn't find it with him
what do you think is the goal of this track? Do you, do you guys think you can bounce back from last time's performance, or do you think you got to make a change? Um, I think that our tribe should be pretty strong, like, in the next couple of challenges. If we're not really unlucky with, like, the weather and stuff. Um, like, obviously, we don't want to vote anyone out, but I think uh, we'll probably will be able to stick together for quite a while after this event. So... Another thing that was introduced to the game was the target twist. So all of you have a target right now, it's one other person sitting here, and whoever gets floated out tonight, whoever has that target will get a clue that they're immunity idol. So do you think that's going to be a big factor in your guys' vote tonight, or do you think the vote's going to be based on something else? What do you think, Katie? How about you, Mackenzie? Not necessarily in your vote, but do you think it does come back to some people's votes tonight? I think maybe some people, but honestly, I don't think we're too worried about the target challenge against the general. I think we're just trying to get through the game and just make sure that we don't have any So, immunity idols. It's round one, obviously, but immunity idols are a factor in the game. Do you think those are going to be a big part of the game sooner rather than later? Or do you think people aren't worried about immunity idols right now? What do you think, Erica? Uh, I think definitely people will get excited about them. Just the fact that we'll get a clue whoever gets voted off whoever their target was. So I don't think right now, especially since it's such a big camp, it's going to probably be hard to find it. But once that first clue goes out, like I think that person will go running. confident tonight? Do you feel okay with how you think the float is going? Are you unsure? Well, the second part of time, they were laughing in my ear. Do you feel confident about the vote tonight? Or are you unsure what's going to happen? Uh, well, I don't think that being confident in a vote would be a good thing. Uh, because that gives, that gives a sense of complacency, which I don't think would be a good thing to have. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what will happen. I mean, I want us to come out of this travel council smiling at the other side, ready to destroy a challenge. Is there anyone here that does feel confident tonight? Not in round one, no takers. Is there anything anyone wants to air? Anything that anyone's been thinking about or wants to tell the tribe for going forward? <laughs> Mark, Mark's hungry. That, that's what we've gathered this tribal council. Alright, I think in general that's everything for now. So one at a time, I'm going to call you guys up. You're going to go to the booth, write a name down, pull it <coughs> the camera, give, give a word or two, put it in the jar, pull it in half. Make sure not to look in the jar, obviously. And then just come take a seat. So we'll start with Erica on the end.
Um, honestly, I could not tell you why I think I got voted out. Um, I think we all did great. I personally, I'll tell you why I voted for who I did. I voted for Alex based on the challenge alone. Because um, I think after, like, you know, he kept dropping it and then we all got um, riled up, I guess. And I guess they voted me out because they're looking towards future challenges maybe they don't think you know based on looks alone because nobody really knows me maybe they think I'm not as strong or as big of an athlete based on appearances but you know nobody knows anybody else um, I could be a bigger athlete than any of them uh, so you know next time on Survivor Yukon as some of you may have suspected we have a fun challenge today my favorite, personally. We have an eating challenge today. Woo! Swallow or I'll swallow. Nice. Go. Okay. Okay. Oh. Yeah, Doug. Oh. You got it. You got it. I'm trying to make my tongue as least disgusting as possible because, oh, I've got time. <laughs> <laughs>